right, we're back on the Archeria stand. We were here at 10 o'clock this morning, but uh, the Sims is so new, it's then warmed up. So obviously we come back a little bit later on the day. Sebastian's kind of uh, agreed to give us a further demonstration. Uh, this is very large, uh, very big, and Sebastian's gonna take us through some of the features of it, uh, the product and a few sounds. Right, let's uh, start up with the, the front panel. Uh, we have three oscillators. Uh, VCO1 and VCO2 are two big oscillators that are taken, inspired by the mini and micro oscillators with a few differences. The sub oscillator is different, it goes from a side wave to a like, soft clipping of a side wave that goes like, trapped it at the top. Uh, the two are similar, VCO1 and VCO2. The third oscillator is a VCO as well. It's uh, a sim more simple design with uh, just a waveform selection and uh, tuning. Uh, it can also be used as an LFO uh, with a, the division of the frequency of the oscillator. So it can uh, uh, track the keyboard uh, and be used as an LFO. You get a noise source, white, pink, red and blue. It's different uh, noise types. Uh, so it's already filtered, so you don't need to use a filter just to get the noise type of noise you want. You get a mixer with uh, the five different sources, three oscillators, the noise source and the external input. Each of these can be routed to filter one, filter two, both of them, or none. Uh, because we have you know, two filters, one is the Steiner marker filter, and the other one is the ladder filter. Uh, both can be 12 or 24 dB of slope. Steiner marker has notch, band pass, high pass, and low pass modes. Uh, the ladder filter has low pass, high pass, and band pass. Both filters can be driven uh, at the input. They have cutout resonance. Uh, the brute factor, uh, which is uh, taken from the mini brute design, is a feedback loop. Uh, uh, there's an envelope amount uh, and an output, the ladder and the signer output. Regarding modulation, we have three envelopes and we have three LFOs. Three envelopes are here. Uh, we have two ADSR envelopes with a velocity amount and one uh, DADSR, so with a delay stage at the beginning. Uh, and uh, you use this uh, with the modulation matrix that we find here. Uh, there's this mid matrix that has different modes. One of them is to be used as a modulation matrix. We have modulation sources here, like for instance the envelope, one, two, three, the other phones, mod wheel, velocity, and these can be routed to a list of modulation destinations, like for instance here we have VCO1 pitch, uh, VCO1 ultra so, so it's the wave uh, wave shaper of the so to of VCO1. But what you do is say, okay, I want envelope 1 to control the pitch, so I just activate this connection, and then I can set the modulation amount here, and I have feedback on the LEDs of how much modulation is assigned on that connection, and then I can move on to another one, activate the, the amount, set, okay, so, so you can really play with uh, the Yeah, it's math patch made. Uh, 12 of the destinations are hardwired, like pitch uh, the oscillators, with the Steiner and the ladder uh, cutoff frequency, uh, VCA, and you also have four uh, custom destinations here. So what you can do is press a button and turn one of the parameters and it will be the new uh, destination of modulation. So for instance, if I want to control, I don't know, the drive of the ladder filter or any other parameter on the, like the envelope types or something, I can just connect them to these four. Columns and have them as modulation destinations. Also got that at the back as well, CV control. Yeah, pitches, yeah. Let's, let's finish with the. Oh yeah. So on the back we see that we have uh, 12 uh, mini jack inputs and 12 outputs. Uh, it uses CV gate. Uh, Oh, no, CV, CV connection, so the 12 first columns of the matrix have inputs and outputs of modulation. So the input, what it does, it just, it sums, like for the VCO1 pitch, it will sum to whatever you have connected on the matrix. If you add something else, like an alpha coming from, I don't know, a euro like mod uh, module, it will sum the two together. So it's, a, it's an additional modulation source. And uh, the output, what it does is it takes everything you have connected on the matrix and just sends it to the, to the external world. So you could like have two LFOs together plus one envelope with different amounts and send everything to the, the output uh, all mixed together. 
and you can do that for all of the 12 separately with different amounts each time. So it's a it's it's a very expressive uh, solution, uh, either for the instrument or uh, to connect to the external world. This matrix is really a nice design. It can also be used as a sequencer. Uh, Step on or off, activate the step, change the note, of course. Activate accent, which will send a higher velocity, and then you can use that in the modulation matrix in which way you want. Slide on or off, uh, so that the pitch goes uh, smoothly from the uh, previous step to the next one. And modulation, you can automate these parameters, uh, either in real time or in step recording. So it's another parameter which is sequence, and you can modulate it and send it to anything you want. It's one of the sources of the matrix. It's called sec modulation. Uh, we have analog effects, uh, stereo and mono delay, chorus, flanger, and reverb. You can select one of these. You have different controls like delay time, regeneration, uh, tone rate, uh, width. Some of the effects are stereo. So you have a width control and a dry wet. <coughs> So these are the effects. This section here is uh, for the sequencer. I can select quarter notes, triplets, dotted notes, uh, different playing speed, uh, forward, reverse. Each of the modules, some were reused from uh, our previous design, but nothing is exactly the same. Everything was improved in some way. Oh, fantastic. Thanks very much. Yeah, thank you. Thank you.